Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I'm gonna to be installing some custom Flytanium scales uh, on my Spyderco PM2. Thank you so much to Flytanium for uh, sending these to me. These look really cool. I'm a big fan of titanium. Um, they actually, <laughs> these these are also Flytanium micarta scales, and I've had them on my PM2, which is a size comparison knife on this channel for a while now, but I, I just like upgrading things and altering things periodically. I like doing this kind of stuff for your entertainment, so I'm excited to put these on. Uh, I will link these scales right down below, as well as the micarta stuff. Flytanium has a whole bunch of really cool aftermarket parts. If you're a knife person and you don't know who Flytanium is, chances are they have parts for some of your favorite knives and they are relatively inexpensive if you like to mod things. Um, it's They're great. The the In my experience, right? I've, I've got some titanium scales on my bug out from Flytanium. I've got Flytanium scales on my uh, Shaman. Uh, I've been buying stuff from them for a long time, since well before I was doing this channel. Precision is all there, values there, um, really great stuff. And it's really not that difficult uh, to take these things apart. So we're gonna do what we usually do. I'm going to uh, hyperlapse this, put some music to it, get these installed, and then we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and we are done. That that went together like ridiculously easy. I also installed my old Flytanium backspacer that I forgot I had. Everything just fit together perfectly. So uh, the angle square, the magnetic angle square, obviously uh, you, is good for digitally measuring angles. Um, but uh, I use it as a magnet for my um, bits and the hardware. It's really great for keeping all that together. Of course, I have my tools that I use. All of this stuff is linked down in the description and it is all very inexpensive. This is what I've been using forever. So these titanium scales, actually um, made the action and the uh, lockup better on this PM2. This particular PM2 has always been a little bit finicky since I bought it however long ago. Um, it's never quite wanted to lock up correctly with good action, but now we have perfect action and completely and totally solid lockout. And I think that titanium is just better about that than maybe micarta or G10. Your experience may vary, but this is beautiful. This uh, PM2 is gonna stay like this for, um, the foreseeable future. Um, so you guys will see this titanium PM2, not in the very next knife review because all of my content is pre-recorded, but you're gonna see it as a size comparison knife, um, you know, basically in every review starting in about, you know, three weeks or so. Uh, what does it weigh now with the scales? We'll go ahead and weigh it. It's definitely heavier. Uh, yeah, it's a five ounce PM2 now versus what's the original weight? 3.75, 3.8. So it's gonna add some heft. If you're like me and you like that feeling of solidity um, and maybe you enjoy the feeling of heft, you know, then yeah, you might like it. It will make the PM2 butt heavy. So the balance is now back here. Uh, that's something that kind of matters to me and kind of doesn't. Honestly, I like the PM2. The PM2 itself is a knife that has used to be a lot more prestigious in my eyes and it's still definitely one of the best EDC knives out there, but you know, I've had it for so long. I've owned multiple. I used to, I, I actually had an S110V PM2 a long time ago before I started the channel and I put Flytanium scales on that one. These new ones look excellent. The milling is excellent. By the way, the fitment and the seating of everything is just perfect. Um, I, I really, truthfully, have never had an issue with Flytanium stuff. This just has always worked and I've got tons of videos of me installing Flytanium parts on various Spyderco knives and Benchmade knives and stuff like that. You're welcome to go check them out. Um, but this just went flawlessly. I'm very, very happy with this and I urge you guys to check out, if not the PM2, then just the wide variety of stuff that Flytanium has to offer. Really, 
really happy with that. The look of them and they're contoured too, which is a huge upgrade from the old titanium scales that were just flat. It's definitely, if not, I mean, if you don't want to go with titanium, you can definitely go with their aftermarket um, contoured micarta scales to get that feeling. But yeah, this uh, this was really nice. Plytanium, thank you again for sending these in. Um, I really appreciate that, and it has definitely spiced up my PM2. Much needed spice up for the PM2. I think this is the most modded knife. I, I don't know if I've modded this two or three times now. I can't remember, but this knife has gone through the most wardrobe changes <laughs> on the channel. Anyways, thanks again, Flytanium. Check out the Flytanium stuff in the description. Um, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.